Guys, I'm sitting outside the post office. Here's a short one. I bought a pile of tapes just for the heck of it. They were cheap. If the boxes correspond with what's in them, this is not a bad deal. This one says, return to Case Veerman after use, own tape. Maxell LN 25120. That is definitely Maxell. That is definitely LN or UD. It says 25 on the leader, so it is 25 micron. Looks okay-ish, not the best, but then, yeah, it's probably just been wound on a, on a badly winding recorder. This tape should be okay. Nice reel, not too shabby. That's a good start. Another Maxell, it's a UD. Oh, that looks happy. Okay, got the stickers. Here you see. Uh, it's another 25 micron tape, so that should uh, fit two hours on seven and a half inches per second uh, in stereo. Listen to fine music. Yes, I prefer to. Uh, looks in very good shape, nice and tightly wound. And uh, yeah, nice reel. I like these reels a lot. I think they look awesome. So that is a uh, good one. UD 18180, so this fits six hours on uh, seven, uh, three three quarter inches per second. The tape's problematically thin. Let's see what we have. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so part of it is missing. Uh, it is definitely the correct tape. It is definitely very thin. Uh, part of it is completely knackered already. I'm gonna just remove that while I'm at it. Gonna just put some leader tape on this and uh, clean it a bit and it should be usable, but it's not the full length anymore. Look at how bad they threaded that. Um, so that is uh, less than ideal, but probably still very usable. Let's see what, what's next up. Uh, I also uh, got bread, in case you're interested. Because this is one of those uh, DHL points that also does a little bakery, like a, a local shop. What do we have here? So this is a 25120. The leader tape definitely is not Maxell, but the tape could, could very well be. But that's then not UD, that should be, it has back coating. So this is, as far as I know, not back coated tape. Um, I think this may be UD XL or so. Whatever it is, it doesn't have the original leader tape. It definitely is put on there by someone who doesn't know how to, how to make a splice. So we need to redo that. Uh, I still have some leader tape, so I'll, uh, I'll see. If it sounds good, it sounds good. The tape looks a bit dusty, but like fingers are on it. But it looks tight otherwise, so I'm not too worried about it. But this is, whatever this is, it's not Maxell UD. Uh, it may still be Maxell, so, so far we're doing well. Another UD, 3590. Uh, yep, with the correct reel as well. There you go. It says, uh, Caroline Roadshow, non-stop music, CV production, looking very tidy, 35 micron, and uh, yeah, definitely a, a nice looking Maxell tape. I think we got ourselves a bit of a deal here. Here's something, I'm stuck. Here's something that I don't really like to see. They're usually unusable tapes, uh, Philips LP18. It is the correct reel. Uh, it is looking healthy, the tape, but it's probably gonna shed like, like hell. Good. Rotterdam Nailis, it says, good Yanni. I have no idea, but they used uh, this kind of tape. It's a bit of a pity. Uh, reel's not in the best shape. Tape looks all right, but it's probably just trash. I'm probably just gonna put some other tape on this reel eventually, and I'll remove the, the label because it's beat up. So it'll just be like a blank translucent slash transparent reel. And then here's a bit of a pity. It's TDK Alex 3590B, and the B, the back coating, that's a problem. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks healthy. Um, it is the correct tape. But um, these people are not very good at threading. You have all this space and you still let it stick out. Jeez. You don't want to do this because on the other side, you will flip the tape around and you will just completely squish this. And then every time you thread the tape, there will be a little hump here that will just ruin your tape. Um, this tape should be good, but it's, it's, it won't be. It, it looks in great shape, but LX35B, it really is. Uh, just is unreliable and it will shed and your, your heads will have a white powder on it after merely minutes or often seconds of playing, which is a pity because it's in very nice shape. So my plan is I have three of these now. I'm waiting for a fourth and then I'm going to buy two 10-inch new tapes on, uh, on hubs, so not on reels, and I'll just uh, put them on there. Here's the stickers, all like new. It makes you wonder why they used some other sticker on this, if they still had the new stickers. Can we get this off? 
Yeah, not easily. Um, oh well. So this is not a bad pile of tapes. I paid 20 euros including shipping for these and it's uh, at least four good Maxels, so worth it. In the category exceptions that confirm the rule, this uh, TDK LX so far, no issues whatsoever. Sounds great too. I'm not sure who recorded this and what from, but it's, it's recorded loud enough, which is rare. People are usually way too conservative with that. Sounds nice and crisp. I can, I can actually give you a listen in a second. That actually works pretty well, holding a headphones to, uh, to, a, to a phone microphone, surprisingly. Uh, but also the tape doesn't shed. It's so far as fine. And uh, I wonder what record player they use because it is from vinyl. You can hear the clicks and pops every now and then. But other than that, it sounds really good, like a properly adjusted record player. So pretty happy about that. Have a listen. Especially for this low speed, pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Happy about these tapes.